owning a gun, let alone carrying one in public, is a huge responsibility. It's not designed to make you tougher, more dangerous, or even cool. In fact, you ought to appear the opposite of all that. More like calm, reasonable, alert, non-confrontational, with a sprinkle of quiet confidence. I love sprinkles. <laughs> to some of you, that makes sense. But if you spend some time watching your local news and reading gun-related comments on social media, you'd realize that it's far from obvious to many. Hence this video. This video is not for bots who have a temperament of one on a scale of one to one. This message is for humans who get frustrated, sad, angry, delirious, and everything in between. Humans are odd. We can jump from one emotion to the next at the drop of a hat without giving it a second thought. Normally, it would matter little, but when carrying a gun, the second thought concept might come in handy. Probably wouldn't have done it on second thought if I had thought. For example, if you're walking on a busy street and someone bumps into you, are you the type that smiles and says, I'm sorry, or the type who gives a dirty look and says, what the fuck, dude? Did he just say what I think he said? If someone cuts you off on the road, are you the type that cusses a bit under your breath and lets it go? Or are you the type who honks, displays some hand acrobatics and chases the culprit for miles just so you can cut them off and get even? I dig the fifth. If you're carrying a gun, the first type is who you ought to emulate no matter how difficult or uncharacteristic it is for you. Because if you don't, you're putting your life, freedom, and perhaps the lives of others at risk. A prosecutor and a jury of your peers will not look kindly on you if you chose aggression when de-escalation was not only possible, but the reasonable thing to do. Defending your honor, letting your ego get bruised, or getting offended and lashing out, which has become a national pastime in some circles these days, are not acceptable excuses and certainly not adequate legal defenses. Oh great, so what am I supposed to do? Most importantly, almost all situations we get into are not worth being badly hurt, dying, or ending up in jail for. Unless you're attacked unprovoked with deadly force and are staring great bodily harm or death in the face, your autopilot reaction ought to be to walk away unscathed. And if you can't walk away, then use the least amount of force necessary to stop the threat. To make these types of split-second decisions, it takes a cool head, a checked ego, and consistent, deliberate practice over time. You want to think, decide, and rehearse your strategy ahead of time so it becomes natural if and when it happens. I promise you, if it happens, you won't feel a thing. That is the most effective form of self-defense, ending the day back at home with your loved ones unhurt, safe, and sound. You must recognize that even if you never use lethal force in an altercation and hurt someone else in self-defense, there is always a chance you may end up having to defend yourself in court. Worse, if you provoke, retaliate, and become the aggressor, you may be charged with a felony and convicted. And as a felon, you lose your Second Amendment right forever. The right to keep and bear arms is an inalienable right, but not everyone sees it that way or even cares. It's no secret that those who don't care for the Second Amendment will use every opportunity to point fingers at gun owners whenever some ignorant or mentally ill lunatic abuses the right. We do not use the word lunatic, sir. So we must take responsibility and not give them a reason to be right by having a temperament worthy of carrying a lethal weapon around. So when you strap on that holster and walk out the door, leave your ego behind. Put your situational awareness hat on, your triple C cool calm collected tape on, and remember your training. With training, you can be X-Men. The objective is to return home to your loved ones the same way you left. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and watch the next video right here. Train hard, often, and safely, and I'll see you at the range.